Look, this thing's slow, but Chloris already packs a punch with all its attack. There's nothing that can safely switch into this thing. Nothing. My name is Just Weavile, and welcome to my Pokemon Wife of Battle series, where we try to bring out the potential of every Pokemon there is. Let's get started. And the battle begins. Good luck, Evan Horn Rebels. So they're going to lead off with Rillaboom, the Galar Champion. As I led off with Colgate, the Registeel, nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. So the Grassy Surge is sell, which is fine. What we're going to do is right off the bat, we're going to go for a nice and powerful Stealth Rock. So I think that's the most important thing to do right now. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our leftovers. That's fine. It's not going to do too much damage to us. Um, as then Stealth Rock can come through and that will do damage to the whole Lucha. Break a Sash on the Lycan Rock and the Infernape, etc. And it's just chip damage every time they switch out. So now... Uh, I'm going to say screw it and stop an Iron Defense. I don't see any reason not to. They go for a U-turn anyway. It's going to bounce right off us. And they probably go into, if I had to guess, I'd say I have a Holucha or Infernape. Holucha to sell up and sweep straight away. Vaporeon comes in. That's an interesting choice. So Vaporeon comes in. Get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is nice. We get an Iron Defense off. And then what we'll do is we'll just see how much damage Body Press does to the uh, Vaporeon. Because I don't know what this Vaporeon is Vaporeon's going to do. It could be a Calm Mindset, it could be Acid Armor or anything like that. So we've got to be careful with what we do here, because Vaporeon could be a threat. I really want to use Vaporeon, actually. Vaporeon is a really cool Pokemon. So we'll go for a Body Press, they go for an Acid Armor. Okay, so they are an Acid Armor set. Nice. Let's see how much Body Press does at plus two defense. Not enough damage, that's for sure. As they get some recovery from the Grassy Terrain and the Leftovers, so... It's definitely not worth staying in, because they're just going to Acid Armor up. In which case, it might be time for Clawitzer or Zapdos. I think I will go Zapdos straight up because they're probably going to either go for another Acid Armor or they're going to Scold us. And if I can hit them with a powerful Volt Switch, um, that's going to be great. Because they don't have a Ground type. So Acid Armor comes through. Like so. Defense is very sharply. And again, we're just going to go for a nice and powerful Volt Switch. Volt Switch comes through. Does half to the Vaporeon, which is respectable. But luckily, Vaporeon's one of those Pokemon where you can switch into it pretty well. So if the Volt Switch did that much from a super effective, from an uninvested super effective Volt Switch from a Zapdos, I'm pretty confident if we Terastalize our Chlorisa right now, because Chlorisa does really well here, that will be all right. So they go for an Ice Beam, which is going to bounce right off us. Yep. No freeze. That's great. Um, so no more acid armors, which is nice. And they're going to get the leftovers. So we, we should go for a Terra Dragon Pulse, I think. They withdraw the Vaporeon. This is great. We get a free Terra Dragon Dragon Pulse off on something. And it's going to be Lycan Rock, unfortunately. So I'm guessing this is a sack play. So they're going to go into Lycan Rock now. As uh, we go for a Terrestrialization to a Dragon type. Like so. And the amazing thing about this is that there is nothing on their team that can just straight up one shot us. So... Terra Dragon Claw is going to do amazing work this game. That is for sure. So, and um, we go for the Dragon Pulse on the Switch. They definitely don't live this because it is an extremely powerful special attacker with Mega Launcher as well, which boosts pulse moves, um, which is awesome. Right, Rillaboom comes in. They're probably going to go for a knockoff. Do I want to be knocked off? It'll give us a bit more versatility, but they can't really do much else other than knocking us off. So I think my best bet is probably going to be going to uh, Registeel again. So that's what I'm going to do. So hashtag Arm Cannons come on back. And we'll try and get you a free switch in again at some point. So Colgate comes in. Again, we, we don't worry about knockoff with this thing. They go for a knockoff as to be expected. Not going to touch my uh, Registeel as we're going to get healed by your grassy terrain. So that's fantastic as well. Um, now what we'll do is, if we assume they're going to U-turn, we should go for a body press regardless. So they do go for a U-turn, which is fine. They're probably going to go Vaporeon again, if I had to guess. This time, they'll go for an Ice Beam, predicting the Chlorus to come in, probably, and it'll do about half. I could be completely wrong. They are going into Vaporeon, which is great, but I could be completely wrong. They might not predict. So the Stones dig in. We go for a Body Press. It's going to do the same damage as before. Yeah, not really much damage to it. Um, and they basically, at this point, they have to either go for an Acid Armor or a Wish. So either way... They can't just go for an Ice Beam because they'll lose their Vaporeon if they do that. Um, so let's go back into Clawitzer and now. They withdraw their Vaporeon. They straight up withdrew. And they're going to Infernape the Paldea Champion. Now, luckily, Infernape won't KO my um, Clawitzer. 
But we can KO with Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse will KO the uh, Infernape. It's the best move to go for because it means they can't bring in Rillaboom um, or the Vaporeon. So um, they might be baiting us to go for Water Pulse here to heal the Vaporeon. They might actually go into Vaporeon right now. But either way, I'm going to go for a Dragon Pulse. They go for a Drain Punch, which is Iron Fist Boost that I'm assuming does under half, healing them ever so slightly. I mean, they're back to full. We go for a Dragon Pulse, and that is going to be able to hopefully KO the Infernape here. It does. That Infernape had no chance. And no chance. So down it goes after doing not too much damage to us. And we get Grassy Terrain Recovery as well, which is fantastic. That Grassy Terrain is really helping us out here. Right, Hot Lucha comes in. This thing, unfortunately for us, means we can't just go for a... Because they're going to get their Grassy Seed, yeah, see? We can't just switch out because they'll get a boost. Actually, no, we can just switch out. We can go zap those. Because even if they go for a Swords Dance here, predicting the switch, we should we resist both stabs and we're physically defensive, so we can definitely take a hit. So we'll go Fundaja now. Or Fundaga. They are going to Terrastalize. Ooh. What type are they going for? I wonder. Ground? Interesting. So now we can't Volt Switch on them. Means we're going to have to Hurricane. We're going to have to try the Hurricane. And um, they go for a Swords Dance, it's fine. But if they attack us, the minute they touch us, there's a chance that they get static. Which is great for us. But if we've got any chance of being this Holucha now, it's by going for a Hurricane here. So the Grassy Terrain wears off. Let's go for the Hurricane real quick. They go for a Swords Dance again. They really want to get that KO. As uh, we go for a Hurricane and miss. Why is it with me missing these up those Hurricanes lately? I keep missing them so much. Acrobatics? We live that. Yeah, we live that. Awesome. No. Oh, we missed the hurricane again? Right, we could still paralyze them. We could still paralyze them. That's our last chance. It was a crit acrobatics as well. There's the static. Thank you very much. However, even with Unburden, this thing still outspeeds the majority of our team. So we do have to be careful here. We have to be real careful. So what do we do here? I'm going to go Frostlass. I think Frostlass is going to be fine here. So we're going to Banshee. So we go for a Triple Axel. And as long as we can hit all three times, we should be golden. Oh, wow. We missed the KO. Because of the defense boost from the Grassy Seed. Acrobatics comes through. That's going to KO us. We get the Cursed Body on the Acrobatics, which is great. But Frostlass has unfortunately let us down there, which is a real shame. We can get this thing out of the way, though. Chloritz looks pretty good. So, because Frostless outsped, we know that Cyclers are also outspeeds. Um, so, we may as well go into it and go for a U-turn or a knockoff. So, I'm going to go for the knockoff now. Knockoff comes through. It should KO. It does KO, which is awesome. So, Holucha panic averted. We were bound to get the static on the Zapdos. It was bound to happen. And also, it can't complain about power hacks when I miss two Hurricanes in a row. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's Even Stevens now. Toxtricity comes in, which is fine. That thing is a monster. A monster. We at least know it's not Terra normal. Let's go for a Draco Meteor and just uh, hit it with some damage. A uh, Draco Meteor comes through. It's not Scarf, which is good to know. Does a load of damage to it. Special attack falls. That's going to activate our eject button. Meaning we can get out of there. And if we assume they're going to go for a Boom Burst or a Sludge Wave, we should definitely go into Registeel here. Registeel can take any hit from this Toxicity. And if it goes for a Shift Gear, so be it. Not the end of the world. They go for a boom burst. That's going to bounce right off us. Again, I really want to use Toxtricity soon. So, both our stab moves are not very effective. Let's go for a body press. Overdrive, that's fine. Does more damage than boom burst does. But body press should do a lot of damage. It doesn't quite get the KO. But we can get them with the next one. As overdrive comes through. Doesn't quite get the KO. Body press comes through. That takes out the Toxtricity. So that was a bit of an exchange between Toxtricity and the uh, Registeel. But now the Registeel is at the point where it can get KO'd pretty easily by anything on their team, which is probably going to be the Vaporeon. Rillaboom comes in. That's fine. Stealth Rocks dig in. They get the Grassy Terrain up, which is fine. That's going to heal us as well, which is awesome. And we just let Registeel go down here. We go for a Body Press just to see if we can damage them. They go for a knockoff. It's obviously going to KO us as Colgate goes down. So, 
Now the real question is, do we go into our Chloritza? I think we do. I think it's time for Chloritza to come back in. So we'll bring in hashtag arm cannon. Shout out to those who know that uh, reference. Um, we go for... Is Ice Beam or Dragon Pulse better? I think Dragon Pulse with Mega Launcher and Stab is better. So we go for a Dragon Pulse here all the time. They go for a Grassy Glide. That's going to do no damage. As we go for a Dragon Pulse. And it looks like Rillaboom will go down here because this is Choice Specs. They should have knocked us off, really. Yep, Rillaboom goes down, which is awesome. No chances. No chances. And now we just have the Vaporeon, which we should be able to KO with a Dragon Pulse. And I don't think they KO us with Ice Beam. They have shown Ice Beam, but I don't think they KO us. They should also outspeed us because we haven't got speed investment um, at all. So... Let's go for a Dragon Pulse real quick. Ice Beam comes through. It's fine. Oh, he does KO us. Yikes. Cloister goes down, but it's fine. We've got the Iron Moth in the back. We've got the Cyclozar in the back. We're looking all right, to be fair. So Vaporeon is going to get some health back from that and the leftovers. And we're just going to Iron Moth now. Iron Moth comes in like so. And we get that speed boost from the booster energy. And we should do anyway. There it is. The booster energy pops. Giving us a speed boost. Not that it matters. But we are grounded, which means that the energy ball is going to be boosted by the grassy terrain as well, which means it definitely KOs here. As there's the energy ball. Down goes Vaporeon. That was a pretty fun game. Cloyster did really well that game. Definitely demonstrated its power. I mean, just KOing that Rillaboom. Rillaboom's, you, like, you know, it's a bulky mod. Really good stuff. And the battle begins. Good luck and fun, Lionel. So they're going to lead off with Cinderace, which is a good lead. As I led off with my Zapdos, I, I figured they would lead with Dragon Pool or this thing. Um, I didn't think they would leave with Cleavor because the Registeel would have been an easy counter lead for that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Volt Switch straight up. So they withdraw the Cinderace straight away. They're probably going to go into the Clod. Mud Pie comes in. That's got to be the Clod's Eye, right? Yeah, Clod's Eye comes in looking awesome. We go for a Volt Switch. I love Clod's Eye. It's such a cool bug one. It's, it's, it's just like small, fat blob. Um, kind of like me, which is awesome. So let's go into Frostlass now. I think Frostlass is our best way of dealing with the Clod's Eye. It also does really well against their entire team with the Terra Fire. Um, but that's... Yeah, well, we'll see about that. So, um, anyway, they go through spikes, which is fine. They're going to get the layer of spikes up. Awesome stuff. Now, the pro they might stay and go for another spikes because they're probably thinking Ice Beam's coming or something like that. Um, I think they go into Corviknight, personally. But I'm going to go for a Triple Axle regardless. Triple Axle comes through. They do, in fact, stay in. Triple Axel is going to go ahead and hit three times and KO that Clodzire in one hit. Nice. Clodzire down. Frostlass one. Looking awesome. I love physical Frostlass. It's so unexpected. Lumber the Great comes in. That's going to be the Cleavor. This thing can hit us with a Stone Axe real quick, which we don't want. Um, so I'm going to go into my uh, Registeel now. Registeel can definitely take a Stone Axe, that's for sure. And then we can retaliate with a Heavy Slam. So let me mark Clodzire off on my little list as well. There we go. Clodzire goes down. So... Colgate comes in. Stealth uh, Spikes is going to hurt us a little bit, but it's fine. They go for a Stone Axe, also fine. Now, their only hazard clearance really is Court Change on Cinderace potentially and Defog on Corviknight. Now, they've set up a layer of Spikes, they've set up Stealth Rocks. They're probably not going to want to do that. So I think I'm pretty safe to go for my own Stealth Rocks here. As um, that is a... Oh, I'm not going to Terror, that's for sure. I'm going to go for a Stealth Rocks. They withdraw Lumber, which is fine. What are they going to go into? Cinderace? Rotom. Rotom makes sense. So Rotom comes in. It's, to it's so tiny, Rotom, isn't it? <laughs> so tiny. Stealth Rocks come through, which is awesome. And then we can just switch out. There's, there's no reason to stay in against this Rotom right now. So my best option really is going to be the nice and powerful, nice and powerful Cyclozar over here. So Cyclozar comes in. Hurt by the spikes, which is unfortunate. But it's fine. Um, as they go for a Willow Wisp, which is going to do not much to us. Because at the end of the day, all we need to do really here is drop a Draco. Um, drop a Draco and hurt something. So Burn is going to hurt us, of course. Now, they more than likely go for a Volt Switch here. So what I'm going to do is I, I want to go for a Draco. I really do. I'm going to go for a Draco. They withdraw the Rotom. That's even better. We get a free switch on whatever they bring in. And that's going to be Dragapult. So Dragapult comes through. They really brought Dragapult in on a Cyclozar like that. That is not the best play in the world because we go for a Draco now. It's going to KO the Dragapult. Yep, Dragapult goes down. Special attack drops. Activating on our eject pack, which is great. So with the Dragapult out of the way, Chloritza feels pretty free now. 
Um, especially if we get in on that Rotom. So if we go Chloritzer now, it'll bait in the Rotom, which is what we want. So we'll go Chloritzer now. Hashtag Arm Cannon comes in. There we go. Hurt by the spikes, that's fine, and the Stealth Rocks too. They actually went into Dragapult as well on the Psychozar to block the Rapid Spin. So I understand why they did it. I definitely understand why. So this space in this thing, they haven't got a Dragon type to oppose us. Let's go for a Terra Dragon Dragon Pulse right now on something. And it's going to KO something. Or it won't KO the Corviknight, but it'll do a lot of damage. That's for sure. So Dragon Pulse coming through. There we go. Nice and Terra Dragon. They, like I said, they probably went for a Volt Switch here. They probably went for a Volt Switch. There's the Volt Switch. And they probably go into Corviknight. So that Volt Switch does no damage because of the Dragon Typing. Let's see what they do here because they, they kind of have, like, it's risky for them to go into Corviknight though because I could go for a Water Pulse, but they do go into Corviknight anyway, which is fine. Stealth Rocks are going to chip into them, and then the pressure is exerted. We just simply go for a Dragon Pulse here, and this is going to still do a nice bit of chip. A nice bit of chip. So Dragon Pulse comes through. Holy moly, that is some damage against the Corviknight. That is some damage. Some serious damage. Go for another one, little KO. They go for a Brave Bird, that's fine, we live that. We live that. Recoil, that's fine. You ne never thought I'd see the day where Clawitzer takes out a Corviknight with Dragon Pulse. It was a two hit KO. Awesome. Corviknight goes down. We're off to a good start. Right, Lumber comes in, that is gonna be the uh, Cleavor. Now, they more than likely predict a switch here and go, go for a U-turn. So what I'm gonna do here is Instead, I'm going to go for the... We're going to go for a U-turn. I should go into Cyclozar. Really? I think I'm going to go Cyclozar. Just because A, we outspeed them anyway. And B, I'm pretty confident we can live a st Stone Axe. But I also think they're going to go for a U-turn here. I really think they go for a U-turn. So Stealth Rocks and Spikes are going to dig in, which is unfortunate. As they go for a U-turn, which is going to do... Oh, it KOs us straight up. So are they banded? Or is Cleavor just that strong? <laughs> Am I just underestimating Cleavor? I might be. I might be underestimating Cleavor right now, which would be, <laughs> which would be awesome. I mean, we, we Stealth Rocks and Spikes are up for permanent now, so the Clorista can't do anything really this game. Stealth Rocks dig in now. Um, there's no way for me to heal that either. The Clorista, so that's unfortunate. Um, I think our best bet is to go zap those here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Fundaja comes in. And then we just go for a Volt Switch. Because they must, they, they, they kind of have to, oh, they Terra. They're going to Terra, are they going to Terra Fire for the Pyro Ball damage? It makes sense if they did. It would make sense. Let's see what they do. So Terra Fire Cinderace is awesome. Pyro Ball doesn't KO us. That's for sure, because we're physically defensive. Unless they're banded, it might do a lot more. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Volt Switch comes through. Boom. And back we go. So, Zapdos being in the position it's in, I reckon the best thing we can do here is going to be the uh, Iron Moth. I think Iron Moth is our best solution. So, let's go into Iron Moth now. To this predicament that we're in. We're hit by Spikes and Stealth Rock, sure. But they don't get the, they don't get, they don't get the Libero on the Sucker Punch anymore. And we outspeed them because of the Quark Drive. So we should be able to live a Sucker Punch, that's for sure. Um, let's go for a Sludge Wave first and foremost. Sludge Wave comes through. I would have gone for a Fire Dance, but I'm not confident the Fire Dance will KO the Cinderace from that health. But I guess we'll have to see. So Cinderace goes down, which is fine. Rotom comes in. And all we, have, all we do here is we need an Energy Ball, right? We Energy Ball. Let's go for an Energy Ball right now. Energy Ball comes through. They're probably going to try and get us with the Hydro Pump. Energy Ball doesn't quite care. It does more than I thought it would. They do hit us with the Hydro Pump now. And that's a dead Iron Moth right there. So Iron Moth goes down. But we have got ways of dealing with the rest of the team. So um, obviously Chloritzer is dead on, on switching because of the spikes and Stealth Rocks. But at the same time, we can still use it as fodder. Not now, obviously. But we go Frostlass now. That's what we have to go into. So we go Frostlass. Boom. No Stealth Rock or Spikes because of what uh, our item. And we go for a Poltergeist here every single time. So Poltergeist comes through, don't miss. Avoided the attack. Pain Split, it's fine. 
Pain slit's fine. So they know what they, they already saw the triple axle, so they knew it was physical. So the fact that we missed the poltergeist there is really unfortunate. But I'm gonna go for it again because it should still do a lot of damage to the Rotom. Poltergeist comes through and does it miss again? Yeah, no, it doesn't. That's awesome. Poltergeist comes through. Not enough damage. They go for a Will-O-Wisp and miss. Ha! That show that's <laughs> Sucks to miss, doesn't it? Sucks to miss them moves that could have been really clutch. Let's go for a Poltergeist once again. Poltergeist comes through again. Are we missed again? No, we don't miss again. That's nice. Please KO. It does KO. Rotom goes down, which is awesome. So with Rotom out of the way, we just have to hit the Cleavor now. And the Cleavor could be Scarfed. Could be Scarfed. It's not Boots. We know that for sure. And if it's Sash, it's broken. I say we go for a Poltergeist. They are Scarfed, which is good to know. We could Curse Body them here. We don't know, which is unfortunate. Um, and now the Stone Axe. We just go Registeel and Heavy Slam. That's all we need to do. Go Regi Registeel and Heavy Slam. We know the Choice Scarf. They outsped the Frost Slash, so we know the Choice Scarf, which is awesome. Stealth Rocks and Spikes are going to dig into Registeel, which makes this a little bit more tougher. But we go for a Heavy Slam here, and that should KO. So they go for a Stone Axe. Doesn't quite work on my Registeel Body. We go for a heavy slam that should KO. Dude, once again, Registeel is not as heavy as I thought it was. I don't know why I'm running heavy slam. Why is it so light? There's no way Cleavor's heavier than me. Let's go for a heavy slam again. We live a Stone Axe anyway, even if it's a crit. Stone Axe comes through. We go for another heavy slam. Boom. That's going to be the game. So GG Lionel, that was a pretty fun one. I did enjoy that. Um, Chloris got some power in. KO in that Corviknight was awesome. And yeah, it was a fun game.